Well, it's another late night in one of the factories. I decided I'm gonna tackle this one myself. So, uh, as you can see, it's quite an unsightly floor. Um, I haven't got to bring it back to red, luckily, because I think that would be virtually impossible, but I'm gonna give it a go. I've got my tools selected very specifically for this job. I actually started this job last week, um, the top section of the stairs with a, a handheld wire brush. <clears throat> Did, didn't go great. I managed to get the top tier of the stairs done, but the wire brushes I had were quite small and uh, they wore down really, really quickly. So I've come a little bit more prepared tonight. I've got the, uh, the spin, spin over wire brush for the drill. Um, so I'm hoping that that's going to speed the process up a little bit and help me through this night. So Christmas is coming. Got to try and put this one in my bag rather than my employees. <laughs> we'll cut that bit out. So uh, without further ado, here we go. So this is the section we're going to start on. You can see I got my drill with the wire brush head on it and I've got my hoover at the ready. So the idea is that as I wire brush each section off that the hoover is going to suck the dust up straight away. Um, that's the theory of it. We'll see how that works in practice but that's the best way to uh, tackle this from uh, my previous experience with this kind of flooring. Um, Oh, additional dust mask, obviously got to wear a dust mask, um, so we've got one of those which we need to put on before we start, and uh, yeah. Right, well that's just a few seconds, um, that's actually pressing very lightly, and um, we are going to need to, well, adapt, we're going to have to adapt, we are going to need to adapt these tools. Sometimes you've got to kind of think outside the box a little. The trouble I'm having at the moment is that I can't keep the drill steady and hold the vacuum at the same time. So, simple method, I'm going to go and look for some sticky tape and we're going to strap the hoover to the top of the drill and hopefully as we, uh, as we wire brush off the debris it's going to suck straight up into the hoover. Again, it's just a theory, but we've got to give it a go. Anything to make your life a little bit simpler, so these are not tools that you can buy so unfortunately duct tape cellar tape anything you can find is going to be the answer to this one found some tape okay so this is when it comes in handy to watch uh, too many terminator movies um this is my new improved drill vac so obviously when you're making this kind of thing as professional as it looks just be careful not to cover the vents on the drill um, and also not to get the nozzle too close to the, the wire brush. You wouldn't want to wear out your hoover head and also you wouldn't want to cover the vents on the drill because you could cause a fire. Uh, moving quite quickly down the section now as you can see um, it's not going to come back to the original condition. It's looking a lot better than what it was. And once it's mopped over now, it'll pick up any dust residue that's been left behind. Um, so I'm quite happy with the results. The, the idea that we were looking to get is from this white floor. Um, basically, it was a health and safety thing. The corn plating needed the ridges to be a little bit more prominent. And as you can see, um, the plating is actually more prominent. Well, I've done up to the uh, first line in the section at the moment, and it's actually looking quite good. Um, you can see the definite difference in the flooring. So, get my camera lined up. So you can see the definite difference there. Uh, obviously, you're going to get the waves on the lines in it. It's just through the actual technique of using the drill. So, I'm about to tackle section two which is what's left in this corridor here um, and then i'll be making my way down the stairs yeah i think what we're going to do now is uh just to kind of break things up a little so it doesn't get too monotonous i'm going to uh 
the floor and see how it comes up after a, a, a mop. Get the dust residue off it and um, see the colour difference. It's not going to be amazing, but it's certainly pulling out all of the, the debris from between the, uh, the corn texture gaps. So it's uh, pretty good results so far, quite happy with the results. There's a good difference at the top end, especially down the sides. I think it's quite obvious that uh, the sections on the side here with the red, they're the bits that don't get touched and walked on. Um, the problem is with this particular chemical, this uh, lime paint, so um, any, anything really is, is actually meant to repel any sort of contact at all. Uh, so the areas by the doors where most of the footwalk comes from, obviously there's not much hope for those. They have gone back to the textured corn uh, metal, however I think the actual paint itself has been damaged due to the, um, the, the amount of time that the chemical has been down on it. So, um, But yeah, again, this, this wound... Bleh. But again, this wasn't meant to be back to red. Uh, this was mainly down to the health and safety side of things and bringing back the corn effect. So quite happy again. Yes, very, very good results. Okay, so phase one complete. You can see the floor all the way along. It's been scored with a wire brush. As I said, the sections on the side, they don't get touched by any footwork or traffic, so they're expected to come back quite red. Uh, this is the worst section here, between the doors. They walk from one side of the factory to the other, basically just traipsing the chemical over. So, got this section here, which leads to the downstairs. This is the next section I need to now tackle. Um, but, so far, it's taken me Take me two and a half hours so far just to do this section here. It is quite monotonous work, but the results are good. So overall, I'm very happy. One downside to this sort of clean is uh, this is my third Hoover bag, and it's not because the Hoover's full. The the Hoover bags are actually pretty empty when I'm taking them out. The the downside is because of the powder is so fine uh, that it's coming off the floor. It's blocking up the pores of the bag from the inside. So quite frustrating that the bags are not full but I've still got to change them. Um, it's quite important that you get the suction flow to remove as much dust from the air as you can uh, and obviously it prevents it sort of floating around then which would result in me breathing it in as soon as I take my mask off so um, yeah got to keep on changing these. Getting through it slowly these are the sections here so bit by bit we're working our way down. Well, safe to say finish the job now I'm bloody knackered. So I've got to go over it. I've done all of the, the main stuff, the wire brushing. So I've got to go over it with a mop um, and a damp rag just to make sure all the side sections and things are wiped over, remove any sort of dust that has accumulated. But um, yeah, three Hoover bags. One, surprisingly, one wire brush head um, later. I've not actually gone through any more wire brushes. The, the wire brushes I had the other day, the bristles were just falling out of them and they weren't the cheapest. So a bit disappointed with those. I bought the, the drill heads for this one now um, and it doesn't even seem to have worn down in the slightest. So a couple of bristles flown about towards the end, but nothing major. Um, so yeah, fantastic result. At this stage, uh, you can see the side sections which the wire brush couldn't actually reach on the drill head and the yellow sections on the sides there of what I've actually got to wipe down. But uh, other than that, compared to what they were, um, they don't look fantastic now, but if I put the photos up soon, uh, comparing them side by side, you'll see the definite difference there. And this top section here again, much, much better than what it was. So yeah, I'm very happy. I cannot wait to get in my bed tonight. So I'm gonna, wrap this thing up. Of course I'll finish the video off with a, a small slideshow of the before and afters and I uh, just want to thank you guys for watching and I'm hoping I'm gonna start uploading a few more videos as we go along now. Thanks very much for watching.